All right, here's one interesting question that normally repeats itself. It says, given that P is equal to original principal, R is equal to rate of interest per annum, and D is equal to number of days of deposits. Let me put up deposit. Of deposit. It says, use the following space to write a basic program that calculates and prints the simple interest and the amount when P, which is the principal, R, which is the rate, and D, which is the number of days of deposit. Remember, if this is T, then you're using a different way. So it's D, not T, as supplied by input statement. See what they said, input statement. The printed output should be of this form. It says, when principal is equal to, number of days equal to, rate equal to, interest equal to, the amount is equal to see, take note of this input statement input statement the the question is it should be supplied by input statement not read data statement please take note of this so we're going to try writing this program so it says the program should be repeated as many times as may be specified by read data statement so we're going to write this program in with input statement and we're going to write it in read data statement too said so the program should terminate when a negative rate is encountered when a negative rate is is encountered so definitely i'm going to write this with input and i'm going to write it in two different ways which is an input which input statement and with read data statement for the purpose of this trial but if you ask this in an um, exam what you should do is to use only this input statement the one that was asked here it said the program should be repeated as many times as may be specified by read data statement. You can just decide to ignore it. He said this is one important area I want you to take note of. He said the program should terminate when a negative rate is encountered. When a negative rate is encountered, that means if I have a negative rate, this program should not run. That is the command. So let me launch my Q basic interface. Just a minute. Let me launch my key basic interface. So we have the question again. Say so giving a P original. Okay, let's try writing this. We have P. He said by input statement. So I'm gonna use input instead of read data. Then so I have let me start input enter those sorry where is that place again let me just put my stuff here so I could copy and paste it here so it said input enter enter I could decide to customize this the way I want it so it is it P original principal said enter original principal P the way I want it original principal principal P so I put my stuff comma and I put P here and it says 20 input input enter what's the next one he said rate rate of interest per annum enter rate of interest of interest per annum which is arrow so i'm gonna put arrow here forgot to put this i'm gonna put comma then my arrow here click on my enter 30 Set input enter was next. It says number of days of deposit. So num enter number number of days of deposit D which is also giving okay 
as the letter D so that is my input command so 40 let's read the question again what does it say it says using the following space to write a basic point I calculate and print the simple interest and the amount says and the amount when P R O D are supplied by input statement the printed output should be of this form the printed output should be of this form that is the next thing we're going to do is to enter a simple interest formula here so let's get it right so we have si oh no not here yeah so you have si is equal to b times okay let me just say something here since we, they use d instead of t a number of days our simple interest the formula for finding our simple interest got to change we're not going to use we're not going to use our normal p r o t time all over 100 this is not what we're going to, we are going to use on this, in this scenario because it's p r o d not p r o t so what we're going to do here we are going to say our simple interest is going to have this formula which is simple interest will not have will be equal to will be equal to our principal C power P times the rate divided by 100 bracket close times number of days divided by 365 so this is what we're going to use to get our simple interest and for the balance set simple interest and the amount that means the amount that means the balance the balance the balance we're going to get a balance too here and the new balance so we have we have let's change this, this balance as asked in the question balance is and this balance when PRD are supplied. So the formula for getting the balance is can be given as the new principal plus the simple interest. The new principal plus the simple interest. So I'm gonna have P plus S I so that is just it so i've come here i'm going to calculate the simple interest for this so i'm going to have something like the formula here so which i have p which is out sorry i've already entered my p you're going to p times brackets remember i said rates here rates principal p is times rates over 100 so i'm going to have a root divided by 100 Gonna close my bracket times D divided by three six five three six five. Is that what we have here? Yeah, that's correct. That's what we have here. So I'm gonna close this bracket and I'm gonna close it here too. I just like closing my bracket so to avoid issues. So this for our simple interest. Our line 50, we're gonna have something like says the new balance. The new balance. So I'm gonna have my new balance. I'm gonna have something like let me use B as my balance. B is equal to okay. He said our the balance formula for balance should be P plus S I that is principal plus S I. So I'll have I'll have it here, which is P plus our simple interest, which is represented at SI SI. Click on enter button. Sixty. What did they say? Let's see if there's any condition. Says says the program should terminate 
the program should terminate when a negative rate is encountered so if we have any r if r is negative as the rate is negative this program shouldn't run so we're going to condition this like we say if we're going to use the if then statement if arrow is less than zero then this program should not run it should stop it should terminate but if this program is not negative which i'll use my else 90 this program should print remember we have something like this here it says the printed output should be of this form of this form of this form so we are going to assume this form now said print when principal equal to when principal equal to when principal when principal equal to comma because we want the the, the print printed output to be of this format number of days 100 100 print number of days of days oh what am i doing number of days let me see again number of days is equal to comma principal sorry 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 when principal is equal to number of i uh, mean principal equal to p here we use this p because it's representing principal and this particular one when number of days we we'll use d here where is it number of days of deposit d we we'll use enter d here and 110 print we are trying to assume this printed output now rate so we have rate we have rate equal to put this and let's see the rate here is arrow so enter arrow so one to zero do we have any other one this is not a monk this is not a monk interest oh sorry sorry this is the simple interest this is a simple interest this is a simple interest so we have one to zero I have one to zero which is print 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 we have where is it again the simple interest interest equal to we have this so our interest is equal to si si 130 print what do we have next the balance is the balance is the balance is equal to comma so remember we use b to to, to to assign values to our balance here so b here is our balance so we will refer this the balance is this so when we refer this to this it's going to calculate the principal given by you r plus the simple interest which is here which is p times r all over 100 times d all over 365 so press the enter button remember we are trying to it says repeated where the program should terminate when a negative rate is encountered so we said when the negative rate is encountered this program should stop remember every if then statement must end with what 
must end with and if so immediately I add and if this line means there's an error here so immediately I add by and if this line is going to automatically disappear so let's try it and if and that is it so do I need to add my end statement okay let me add it and so let's assume we want to calculate this now it says this is the exact way the program should look like so let's try running our program so we have let's run it it's creating dot exe file starting program okay it's here so enter original principal p let me say principal p is five arrow is seven and d is eight so when principal is equal to five number of days is equal to eight arrow is equal to seven interest is seven point six seven one two three the balance is what five point zero zero seven six are you seeing what is happening here now let's uh, let's compare these two it says the printed output should be of this form are you seeing the printed output they gave us it should be of this form it matches with this exactly when principal is equal to this and this because we are using the input statement so let's try doing this with the read data statement and see how it goes so let's take this out and try to do this with the read data statement and see how this is gonna go now so by taking this off off let me take it down so let me put 10 here I'm trying to use my read data statement so I put read so I have I'm looking for P arrow D P arrow and D so I'm going to create another line here call it 135 data remember I used what I used 5 6 and 7 yeah I remember now 5 6 and 7 and this is how I've changed it to read data using read data statement. So let me try this. It is going to run. Creating dot exe file starting program. I'm still having the same answer. You can see it correctly. So let's try something now. Let's try something now. Let's try something now. Let's try something. Let's try something. Let's try something. Let's try something. Okay. I want to try something now. Yeah. Let me get back to this face again. So, we wanted to try something. I forgot. Said the program should terminate when a negative rate is encountered. So, let me try entering something negative in arrow here yeah. instead of entering remember i was using five six and seven instead of entering five six and seven let me enter five minus six and seven and see if this program will actually run if it doesn't run that means we've gotten this correctly so let me try it out five six and seven with the inputs so i'm five it said for a negative rate it should terminate so let me say minus six and i click enter and let me say seven here what happened? Not the observe what happened. There's nothing showing on my screen. It refused to work. So let me go back again and start it again. Said five. Let me use the positive six now. Six and seven. Let me see if it will work this time around. Are you seeing what is happening? It's working. The same thing is applicable when you try it with the read data statement. I hope you've learned a lot from this. You can as well try it on your system too.